wake the ego. Use the totem of forgiveness. Disable no more than the ego. Or your sub program will be purged. Okay. So we're we've been told to the disable the ego. Whatever that means right now, because we don't know. We've not been anywhere else. Um, so we should probably explore some more of uh, this brain. And there's two paths we can take. There's, let's just go uh, from left to right. Why don't we? It all comes round in a circle. It is hotter here than for the jungles of Brazil. Alright, so this looks odd. Uh, let's look at the hole. This hole is artificial. It is some kind of receptacle. So this is... Uh, there are areas around this brain that each represent uh, one of the characters, uh, you know, psychology or, or scenario or something along those lines. So this is very yellow and there's this hole that needs to be filled with a, um, a diamond. So this is Ellen's scenario. Um, we have not, nothing to do here right now, so let's just continue. An angel? Such things don't exist. Perhaps it is a metaphor for something else. Okay, so this is the super ego. So I think it's Freud that has this. Well, just a minute. Attention! Oh. Hello, human. I've been waiting for you to arrive. So let's just talk to the super ego. I didn't want to do this right now, but it doesn't matter. We can do it. Who are you? I am Am. Or more exactly, a part of him. One of the three primary components designed by our human creators. How did you know I was coming? Predicting events is one of my main functions. I survey the situation, anticipate probable outcomes, and act accordingly. Hmm, very calm and collected, huh? If you're a part of Am, why haven't you destroyed me? Who do you take me for? My impulsive brother? You five are his playthings. No. Long-range planning is my concern. Can you help me then? Well, I can't help you directly, but I can offer you some advice. Give me that, that sweet advice. What advice do you have for me? Help Am work out his anger. Take some on the chin, so to speak. Just don't let your fear destroy us all. Now, let me sleep and dream of the future. Hmm. Alright, so I think it was Freud that has, uh, that the brain is split into three parts. Uh, the it, the superego, and the ego. I don't exactly remember what does what? I think the it is your compulsions or your, um, you know, lusts and drives and just instincts. I think without, you know, sensibility. Uh, but I can't exactly remember. I think the super ego is what makes us you know, human, or at least what restrains us. But I could be wrong. Uh, don't take my word for it. Go look at it. It's very interesting if you do. Uh, I'd recommend it. So, for now, let's just continue on. Alright, so, change of plans. Um, I tried to do as I want, as I've told I would, 
by letting everyone go around to their own pillars, activating them and killing them off. Uh, the problem is that it seems that Benny is not able to do stuff that activates his pillar for some reason. I don't know why. Um, which is a bit annoying, but, um, but this means that I will actually have Nimduck activate as much as he can. And then I will just uh, use the, the different characters at their pillars. Well, I will not activate the pillars with Nimdark. I will just simply raise them. Uh, only the individual characters can activate their own pillar, as far as I know. So let's just keep moving. Ah, memories of mass graves are coming back to me. Yeah, it sucks, right? So we'll take the all of these skulls uh, are removable. And uh, only three of them have something between, uh, underneath them. Uh, however, removing a skull hurts you, so you have to be sure to remove the right ones. So let's um, let's take the middle one because that's the most relevant right now. And you see, we got some shock from that. So let's um, look at the hand. There, the hand was under there. Pretty grotesque, but. Uh, look at it. Also, this is Nimduck scenario. If you hadn't guessed, with the skulls and the barbed wire. I see a number tattooed on this arm. There is only one place where atrocities like this were committed. Come, Nimduck. Take my hand and rejoin the lost tribe. So do as he says and take I the hand. I am so sorry for what I have done to my people. How can you take me back? You have much to answer for, Nimdok. But acceptance of your heritage is the first step towards atonement. The rest of that road lies ahead. And that ri raises the pillar. So look at the pillar. Barbed wire, like at the camps. All the suffering I caused. And there's barbed wire encasing the pillar. How do we get rid of that, you might wonder. Well, we use our axes. Astounding! I was able to get past the barbed wire by lowering the power intensity with my mind. All right, so now um, when you get hurt, you get less hurt. So let's take the, the skulls. The chalk was not as strong as the previous one. And underneath here is a remote control. Take this. And take this skull. The chalk Ouch. was not as strong as the previous one. And underneath here is a gem. So take the gem. And a blue gem. Right, so do you recognize this? Well, you should, because it's from Elden scenario, and we just walked past her her area. But let's go back there. This is her area. Um, so, uh, use the gem with the pillar to raise the pillar. Simple. Easy. Right. There are power controls embedded in the rock. But one would risk third degree burns to reach them without any sort of insulation. So, continue on. So now we've risen two pillars out of five. There's nothing underneath these two. Why? I haven't seen gargoyles since I visited the castles in my homeland. And this is obviously Ted scenario, so this is not quite as obvious, but you can use the remote control here with the gargoyles. Wet. 
I think it kind of speaks to Ted's arrogance. So look at the pillar. And let's continue on. A ram's head. What must this represent to Am? Well, so this is the ego. So look at the ego. It and talk is to him. Not conscious. Well, it should be. Talk to him. Attention. Yeah. Who are you? I am other. I am machine. Are you Am? I am a fragment, a lost piece, part of an evolution. And... You want to harm me, don't you? I am incapable of hurting you. Well, I think if you choose any of these, he will actually hurt you. He's lying. Uh, so choose to just walk away in order to get away from here unscathed. So this is the one uh, the two supercomputers wanted us to pacify. And we'll get back to that later. Right for now, I just want to raise the pillars. This looks like a research station. Yes, yeah, so this is Gorister's scenario. This cylinder is part of the machinery that makes up this complex. Alright, so use this workstation over here. And uh, select to open the cylinder. Automaton prepped for programming. And this, this seems uh, pretty morbid that she should be an automaton, but whatever. Uh, select raise the power node to actually raise the pillar. And I don't think you can do anything with these as Nimdok. Automaton not responding to programming. Automaton not responding to programming. Yes, so just lock off. And look at the pillar. This power node is protected with a handprint security system. Alright, and let's try and talk to Glennis. I order you to speak. You don't ever take me dancing. <laughs> well, I wouldn't. I'm sorry. Uh, continue on. What is that piece of equipment over there? So this is Benny's scenario, for some reason. Um, the problem I encountered before was that Benny just got electrocuted whenever he used this, even though it is his scenario. So use it with Nimdok to activate it. And there's this woman that we don't know. And look at her. Can you communicate? Benny, they said you were missing in action, but I knew you'd return to us. I've been saving this for you. This race is the power now. Can you commu- Hurry home, Benny. The girls and I are waiting for you. Can you communicate? Hurry home, Benny. This power control is protected by thorns. How primitive. And that was um, the last one. So continue on. That face. It reminds me of my superiors at the research camp. So it reminds him of Dr. Mengele. So it's the id. Attention! Oh, I suppose it's time to wake up. I was having the most wonderful dream about five tiny ants crawling across a stove that's about to be lit. Oh, gee. I wonder what, who those ants might represent. Who are you? I am a metaphor. This entire brainscape is what men made am make it. Treat us as you will. What else can you tell me about the brainscape? Across the brainscape, cold winds bring me the sweet scents of mankind. How delicious they are. What do you find pleasurable about broken glass? With a scalpel dulled on the jawbones of a dozen friends, to pull back 
the skin of a pinion-kicking man, to see the steam rise from pulsing twisted guts. Joy, a chorus of angels. Okay there, buddy. Um, just walk away, otherwise he will hurt you. And that's the it. So we've uh, visited every single totem uh, and every single uh, personality of M uh, component. And we're back. So now I want to go back to Nimdok's um, pillar. And we're here. Um, and I just want to to use the pillar until Nimdok dies. Well, because that's a way of saving them as well, I guess. I don't think there's... As we learned in Ted's scenario, the Earth is uh, uninhabitable. So unless you could get to the moon, I don't think there's any, you know, any form of uh, salvation for them. So just use it until he dies. The shock was not as strong as the previous one. And it might take a while because we've lowered the power. And the shock was not as strong as the previous one. Nimdok is finally in hell as you always thought he deserved. Your companion has failed. Choose another to send into cyberspace. So choose Benny this time. For no other reason than I want to choose Jesus. him. Jesus. This place is more sickening than that bloody mess on Hamburger Hill back in the war. Let's go around and see what he has to say in every single room. I hope to God that Am isn't planning on hailing fire and brimstone on me again. Right, so this is Ellen's, and we have nothing to do here. Is that an angel? Maybe he'll show me some compassion. No, no, I don't think so. He's probably the coldest of them all. This place stinks like the day after a battle. Also, if you hadn't seen, um, we've gotten our own personalized token. Each of us, each of the characters have their personalized token. I believe you only get that if you do your your own scenario uh, close to perfect. And by the way, I don't know why Benny's um, barometer is green instead of white. It should be white. I b remember doing it correctly. Um, so I don't really know, but it shouldn't matter. Let's just keep moving. These statues look like centuries. And what a trophy that would make. Yeah, don't. What a trophy. As if it's some animal. What's this? Some kind of missile launching system? Sure, sure. I'm starting to feel hungry. Is there anything to eat around here? Uh, well, eat your wife. Talk to her. Manya, it's me, your husband. Hurry home, Benny. The girls and I are waiting for you. Well, unfortunately, she's only a holograph, and I don't think they're actually waiting for her. And the pillar... A power node, but it's covered with thorns like some of the jungle traps I encountered in the war in Asia. Well, maybe, maybe it's, you know, maybe love can dispel it. I don't know what to do with these. No, maybe give love to Manya. I shouldn't give this away. Use love with Manya. Yes. You never told me you loved me before. <laughs> oh, I'll go no. put these flowers in water. Oh, that's sweet. I guess that compassion does have its rewards.